Good morning, Papa Nings. I'm Daryl Dodd, and this is Morning Talkback. So have you got an issue, or you'd just like a chat, then give us a call. Like I said, listeners, the list lines are now open. We're usually very busy, but at harvest time, naturally, the, the locals are preoccupied. Jim! Jim! Is it harvest time? Like I said, listeners, the lines are open, so if you're up for a chat, Doddy is here. Here we go. G'day, Phil, and what would you like to talk about today, mate? Uh, t talk? Uh, what are you talking about? Isn't this the uh, swap show? Oh, no, mate, that doesn't start for, for another hour, but... Uh, well, given it's a bit quiet, why don't we start swapping now? So, what have you got to swap, Phil? Yes, well, I've got a uh, bridesmaid's dress, a purple taffeta, uh, with a red sash, a uh, size 28. Uh, it's in pretty good nick, uh, just a, apart from a, a small stain on the back. Okay, you sure you don't want to keep it? Because Papa Inning's annual ball is on this Friday, and uh, I might add, yours, uh, yours truly is the host. And uh, you know what you could do? You could get her to wear it on Friday, and then you could swap it on Saturday. And all oh, listeners, just a little note: there are plenty of tickets left for the the gala ball. Plenty. So uh, so book now. No, it's no good. Uh, she She's already outgrown it. Ah. So, Phil, what would you like in exchange for this purple dress? Oh, I don't know. Uh, well, I could do with a, a trailer load of, of manure. <laughs> really? Come, Phil, sure you wouldn't like some free-laid chickens or some really quality mechanical work? Uh, no, just, just the manure. Oh, well, if, if you're in need of a purple taffeta dress size 28 and happen to have a spare trailer load of manure, why don't you give us a call? And we've got uh, Cheryl up on the phone. Well, before we start, Cheryl, why don't you tell us what part of... That's my ex-wife's name, by the way. Why don't you tell us what part of our wonderful shire of curballing you're from? Cheryl? What happened to the other guy? The other guy? The one that used to host this show. Oh, he hasn't been here for two years. He's gone to the city. Some big producer napped him up. That's my dream too, of course. I mean, my face may look old, but... My voice is as young as ever, and I feel I'm ready to take the next step, and... I mean, I send them demos all the time, but until that time, it's my job to bring the local community together. I love my job, and I, and I can feel that they're embracing me and returning the love. So I'm now your host, now Cheryl, Daryl Dodd. So, uh, what would you like to swap, Cheryl? Same as Phil. Except my bridesmaid dress is a couple of sizes bigger. Oh, okay. So, uh, what would you like to swap your dress for? Say. A trailer load of manure? Yep. Well, listeners, if you've got a couple of trailer loads of manure and you're planning a voluptuous country wedding, this is your opportunity. <coughs> so why not call up? Oh, we've got another caller on the line. And Nolene! Are you there, Nolene? Yep. Okay, now please don't tell me you've got another bridesmaid's dress to offer for us. 
Nah. I got the wedding dress and 89 dream catches. A wedding dress and 89 dream catches? That's an awful lot of dreams to be handing over, and, and Nolene. They ain't mine. They were supposed to be me presents for the guests. Supposed to be? Me fiance ran off with me cake decorator. So I'm stuck with him. Oh, that's terrible. My marriage broke up this year when we se well, my wife separated from me. I never quite worked out why. But anyway, like the kids had left home and I said to myself, Daryl, you've always dreamed about being a radio presenter and here I am. So keep your chin up, Cheryl. You never know what's a coming. It's Nolene. Nolene. Yeah, sorry, Nolene. <sighs> what happened to the other guy? So, uh, what would you like to exchange your wedding dress and those dream catches for, uh, Nolene? And please don't tell me it's for a trailer load of manure. Yep. It is? Yep. Really? Yeah. This is real? Are they fucking with me? Oh, Jim, you prick. Okay, Nolene. Now, uh, what we got here? Well, we got a request for three trailer loads of excrement. Obviously, if you got one, the value of it's rising pretty fast. Hey, good day, Clive. And well, do you happen to own a trailer load of manure? Yep. You do? Yep. Well, this is your lucky day. And what would you like in exchange? Perhaps the two purple and a taffeta wedding dresses or... Third one. Uh, the wedding dress and the dream catchers. Well, I don't know what a dream catcher is. <coughs> but if Darlene's uh, willing to put on the uh, bridesmaid's dress, I'll uh, swap it for her. Well, obviously, Clive, you must have some pretty special manoeuvre there, but will it be enough to win over Nolene's heart? But before we ask Nolene to call up again, why don't you tell us what this manure is? Is it chicken, cow, goat, alpaca, giraffe? That's me own. Your own? Take me over six months to fill it. Would have uh, done it sooner, but uh, keep the trailer in the garage. I haven't always been able to unlock the door in time. <coughs> Look, Clyde, um, why don't you stay on the line? Because I think Nolene's called in. Nolene? Yep. Did you hear that very romantic proposal? Yep. And what do you reckon? A match made in heaven, eh? <coughs> Nolene? I'm thinking. Hey, Nils. If uh, we don't work out, you can keep them in here. And the trailer? Nah, but you can borrow it. Yeah, okay. Okay. You, you mean yes? Yep. Oh, good stuff, Nils. Dad? Dad? It's Dodd? Call those other two back and tell them to keep the bridesmaid's dresses we use in the wedding. Uh, sure, but what if somebody rings up and offers another trailer load of manure? Well, for your sake, they better bloody not. See you, Nels. Yeah. See you, Clive. Oh, look, it's, uh, it's time for the news.